It's no problem. Just right click and win. Just right click and win. I mean, he's because with Cassiopeia, she's going to have to land her skill shots, but Wukong has the ability just to close that gap with the Nimbus Strike so quickly. And then if he gives the Nimbus Strike, lands an auto attack, hits his Q, resets the, uh, the attack, and just able to land another auto attack right away. That's so much burst damage right away. Yeah, that's that's huge. I'm looking forward to seeing Lucy, and I've fooled him. I've been having a few fun games, so I find him a really fun era to play. I'm really interested to see what he can do in the 1v1. Yeah, I, I, I don't know how I feel about Lucian yet, to be honest. I mean, I've seen some players do really well with him, and I've seen some players just do absolutely terrible. I mean, I just got out of a match where Lucian decided to ult a wall. <laughs> wow. Like, and, and hit absolutely no one. So, I mean, you have your hit or miss. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Right. Stealthy Flux. You know what? They need to make another skin for Lux. Lux needs a better skin. Then, uh, wasn't Steel, Re uh, Steel Legion recently released for Lux? Yeah, Steel Legion's okay, but it it makes her too bulky, if that makes any sense. Yeah, no, that does make sense. The new Garen as well. I have no idea what it's called, but he looks like some commander futuristic is ridiculously large it's really cool okay, bringing out the arcade sona skin yes i love that skin so much and maybe it's just because i'm a gamer but that's what i use all the time whenever i play sona i just don't I'm like it i got the exact same skin and that's what i use every time i play sona and i played a lot of sona so i definitely have used that skin a lot i really like it too i think it's really cool it's it's just it's the only good skin that she has. Uh, oh, isn't Silent Night Sona pretty cool? She's got some cool ones, but I just don't think any can pay. Like a little game over sign and stuff. 8-bit <laughs> noises cracks me up. Oh man, I only got it uh, from PAX, but it's definitely cool. So we're looking at Worst Cat AU. <laughs> that was the Janna and the Leona, if I'm not mistaken. Now on Cassiopeia. Well, he surprised me in the past. Maybe I'm wrong. I didn't realize that it was him. So maybe he'll be able to beat the Wukong. Oh, uh, he's like proven us wrong in the past. He says of hard he's... heroes and he's done so well. Exactly. But I this time, I'm, if I side with him, it's going to go the other way. But if I go the other way, it's just going to side with him. I, I, it's a lose lose situation for me. Yeah, and it is a Jade Dragon Wukong, so let's not underestimate it fully. I just think he's going to right click Monkey Bash. Monkey Bash the Snake, straight up. Monkey Bash the Snake. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens. Um, Arcane AJ is the last person to load. Um, and as soon as he's done, we'll get it straight into it. It doesn't look like anyone's disconnected or has having trouble loading, which is always good. And it looks like we're going to have a clean Grand Finals. So these teams have won three times already. And I'll be looking for their fourth time, so... Big yeah, and they're all playing for $10 RP. They're going to want to get that. I see a lot of non-skins being played, so maybe they can fix the problem these guys have. Fill up those skins. So they're definitely going to win, want to win that $10. So people be going to go in real hard. They can taste the money. They're in the final. So that's going to be exciting. I really hope Worst Cat AU steps it up, shows that he is the bomb dog that he did earlier. However, we got Kangaroo on the Vi. He did own me with Brand. We all saw it. We can all forget about it. Um... <laughs> So that's gonna be yeah. interesting. It will be. Um, Kogmo is such a strange one. Like, he's such an unpopular AD carry at the moment. And then you get those, like, wackos that only play Kogmo and, like, destroy you and you don't know what happens. He can still hide for carries yeah, so he, well. Yeah, he really oh, can. I just suck at dodging Arcane Barrage. That's probably, probably, like, my worst thing I am at dodging. Whatever it's called, his ultimate, I just suck at dodging it. Just Living left artillery. Or right. <laughs> yeah, correct. Lift or right, man. I just stress out and watch this thing hit me in the head. I'm like, oh man, I'm predictable. How, how good are you at dodging Nidalee Spears? I'm good at everything else. Like, I'm actually really good at dodging everything else. Especially like hooks and things, because place support always in that lane, just dodging skill shots. It's just that one thing. It's my only weakness. It's, I don't know what it is about it. That little shadow, I obviously don't see it well enough. It just stresses me out. I just don't play against many Cogmores, I guess. But I hate them. I hate it when I do. I hate an AP Cog. Do you play on colorblind mode? No. No, put it on colorblind mode. It's easier to see Cogma's ult. I will do uh, I see. Okay, 
so we we people getting a mad advantage. That's ridiculous. All right, so we're getting into it. Um, items are being purchased. Not a lot of them at the moment, so it's hard to tell what they're gonna go. Prospector's blade just seems the way to go. Those items are just so strong for that thousand gold, so definitely worth getting. No one's gone for the traditional three door and shields yet, though. So such a strange build. I'm just so surprised it's so popular in this this king of the crystal sky. I, I have faith in Vi to come through with the three door and shields. Yeah, come on, man, let's do it. Lots of Null Magic Mantles have been picked up as well, but considering that I think all five members of Purple Team do have AP ratios, not bad at all to pick up a Null Magic Mantle. It's definitely a good choice to do, especially with Wukong, since the first matchup is going to be up against uh, Cassiopeia, and I mean, his passive is already going to give him some magic resist on it on top of that, but he... I don't know, this Wukong going on with the longsword, he's just going to put down so much damage on Cassiopeia. I don't think she's going to be able to do anything about it. Yeah, I see. Alright, so everyone's just picking up the last couple of potions before they head up. And Wukong and Cassio will be taking the, the spotlight in this match. Uh, Cassio has opted to start with a Prospector's Ring, getting the extra mana regen, ability power, and health. Whereas Wukong has opted for pretty much the components for Hex Drinker and Boots. So let's see how it works out for them. And, um, what's your name? Cassiopeia's gone for no levels of her W. It's just all in Q and E. I don't play Cassiopeia, I don't know if that's standard. But I really believe in that twin fang damage, it seems. Well, yeah, that's uh, part of Cassiopeia's main damage. And there's what I'm talking about, just the Nimbus Strike plus the Q combo is just gonna already, just, it just chunks her down so much. She really needs to start hitting those noxious blasts so she he can't go. <laughs> Actually, this is like coming out. She's and doing it. We're going to need to trouble the barrier as well. He's going on and she does win it. It's worth get a U. Proving that he is the best at 1v1s. Go, Not man. afraid to fight matches that we think she's going to lose. Always turns around, does die. But impressed that she took the woo. They'll be happy with that win. And now it's such a Keenan vs. Lucian. You sick yourself. You think Keenan can be quite a nasty little hero. We will find out. He is super strong in that top lane. So we'll see in his 1v1 if he's a machine. But at the moment, Lucian definitely be the one putting out all the damage. Already putting Keenan to about just over half health. While he hasn't taken much damage at all. No. Yeah, and if we look at Kennen's build, he is going an AD Kennen, so we are going to be looking at a lot of attack damage. And if he can land that stun just like that, the Ignite goes down, he's going to be able to chase him. But he's taken down so low, Lucian, so much poke, pops the barrier, and is able to pick up the kill on Kennen. Really close barrier, really saving his life there. He's now had level 6, going to see the ultimate come straight out, but the barrier is mainly going to tank it. Not doing too much damage, he's diving in now, he knows he doesn't have much chance, and he's just going to do all the damage he can, putting this thing, uh, fate just above half health, and now they're going to see Varus versus Cogmore, the ADC battle coming out. Yeah, who can yeah, take I this one away? Cogmore and Varus. I definitely have to give it to Varus. Varus is already high on health, I mean, and kind of outranges Kogma. Has to use the ability in order to try and get his range, but if Varus can't land any of his Qs, then he's going to be at a slight disadvantage. He really wants this power up. They're both just not hitting their spells, really. That's the main problem for them. If one of them can connect, they can get it started. And there we go, the barrage hits at least. The arrow missing again, but they're going to see them just commit to each other. There's the and handle just... arrows landing around on top. The barrier gets popped up. The arrow gets thrown down, and they're both taking so low. But Kogma taken down. Might be able to pick this up with this passive. Oh, no, the flash! Yeah. away, and Thresh missing the hook could have been essential to try to land that kill early. And there we go. He has got the three levels in place. That right click was always going to do a bunch of damage, and that's what jumps him out. Now it's Kangaroo versus uh, Thresh. Thresh. Probably not the favorite to win this fight against Vi, but doing a pretty good job. Him in the box, turning him out, catching him with the hook, but it's not stopping the ultimate. The ultimate goes through the hook. Kangaroo putting on the beats, but is going to about half health. This is quite well done by Thresh. He can put us some more right click damage in soon. No, he's just going to get dropped. So Kangaroo is the winner. It is Vi. And that's up to Hyunji. The challenger on the Lux versus Vi. All right, Lux is just going to be trying, like, if I was Lux, just trying to poke her down using the snare to try to get her there, but she has to get away from Vi. Vi is just wrecked so hard when up close, and especially with that item, giving the shield, the ultimate gets thrown out, the ignite gets thrown down, 
So much damage is coming out from both players. Both are so low. Is she going to be able to take yes. it? Oh, oh. There it is. Landing Using the push to kill. her advantage, throwing out the spells of Lux, just getting that kill. But this was actually a fight so no can win. She'll be happy to see this. If she's going in, she wants the power cord this kill. No, you got the wrong power cord. You needed to do the damage, not the movement speed. But Lux is hiding in the bush. If she's going to be able to land some of this, she might be able to get away. Oh, no, all she has to do is land it. And there it is. There's the kill for Sona. Power cord doing too much, and Sona picking up a kill, she'll be happy, but now it's Sona versus Keenan again. Keenan gonna do a whole lot of damage to Sona, this will not be an easy fight for her, but she's gonna still try to do it. There's the stun though, now that right click damage coming out. The exhaust being thrown down, going in, running towards her, the barrier gets popped, taking down so low, there's the uh, crescendo landing, but it's not gonna be enough, Keenan's gonna be able to pick up that kill. Here comes the monkey, they're all coming straight up again to meet for the ult from Wukong. Wukong picking up the kill, but is about half off, which will be scary. Now I'm in guess you to get the rematch. He will want revenge, but he's added the Sifana's already in the health. But here's the, the, the ultimate coming straight out. Bob Love in a bit of trouble, good to get out. Really low hit points, so he's got to be careful, because he, he dives in on the cash, he is most likely going to blow him up. He does not want to get hit by the poison, but what can he do? He can't not fight her. So he's just going to have to commit at some point. And here we go, he jumps in and just gets instantly blown up, tries to sneak out of the decoy, does not work. And now we have Lucian versus Cassiopeia. Alright, Lucian popping his ult, the barrier goes down to try to block a lot of that damage. And Cassiopeia just laying down so much damage with the fangs, the ignite goes down oh. and Lucian gets picked up easy. It's this worst cat at you, such a good 1v1 player. Now he's going to take on the Varus and he's not afraid. He's going to do as much damage as he can. Will go down, but takes Mad 69969 down to half health. And now it's Cogmore. Cogmore versus Varus rematch. This time it's Cogmore who's got the good hit points. And he gets hit by the ultimate straight away. Does drop his barrier though and just chomps through Varus. Now it's my versus Cogmore. Varus is going to jump straight in. Start putting on the beatdowns. Disney Fate just right click. And now it's the right click battle. Vi doing lots of damage though. Not looking good for Cogmore. Cogmore will most like to go down here, will he? Yes, but he has got his ghost. Can he get the revenge kill? No, Kangaroo jumps away, oh. taking the opposite direction and dodging the hook. Really well played. Lancer comes out, thrust for the right click. Gonna get hit by the box if he tries to leave, so he's forced to fight here. He's not gonna get hit, it's his own move. But it looks like Kangaroo just going really hard. Gonna get taken out though. Half health first versus Sona. Sona's gonna be going up against Thresh. This is not looking. This is kind of looking good for Sona. If she can land some of her power cores, he's already so low. But Sona's so squishy, not being able to do much damage. But Thresh still trying to get on it. If he can land a hook and a play, Sona does have a great. sheen, by the way. So she wants to cast the spells and get those right clicks. It's all about the power cord for her damage. The ignite goes down, just ticking away, but just the heal. There's the hook coming in, and there's the kill on Thresh. Surprise, surprise, Sona coming out for me, just showing me what she can do. <laughs> it's the battle Sona with the Sheen. Get in those right clicks in after casting those spells that she can spam. Really enjoying it, but she's going to have a really hard time coming up against this Lux. Man, the question though, here we go, get out as much damage as you can, Sona, go all in, we see her just constantly trying to get out the power cords, doing the damage, she survived quite a while to be honest, Lux just started to try right click her down, Sona should be spending more time though trying to make sure she gets the right power cords out, she keeps shooting out the wrong ones, but it is alright, she's still surviving a lot longer than I expected, and she didn't die, Lux didn't pop the beam. No, she's doing a great job of dodging Lux's spells. I mean, you've seen almost every single skill shot miss, and that ultimate from Lux is still down. Oh, no, and there it is. GG. GG, well played. Going to Lux. Really well played by the Santa, trying to keep it in there, doing really good for herself. Unfortunately, aren't able to win it. So we do have our grand final winners. It is the purple team. They will all be receiving 10 RP codes. Congratulations to all of them. Really well played. Best special shout out the worst cat AU. Really played well today. Really performed. It's a massive shout out um, and congratulations to all the winners. Yep, and it is really late at the moment. So we're gonna say a big thank you to everyone that was watching. And Team H is our grand finalist. But we will be signing off for tonight. Um, a big thanks to People's Whisper and Raw for shoutcasting. Yeah, it's great to have you here, Raw. I really enjoyed you on the stream. Thank you all for listening to me as well. You've all been wonderful. Another great event. Thanks, heaps, guys. Yeah, thank you. Definitely, thanks for letting me have this opportunity to shoutcast with you guys. This is definitely my first time shoutcasting, so I hope I did well. Oh, you, you did it, did, man. I'd love to have you on. I'm sure the people would love to have you back again as well. Yeah, all right. So we are going to be signing off. If you haven't already, 
please hit that purple follow button under the stream and like our Facebook pages. Um, they will be in chat as well.